two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. <laughs> Welcome to G5Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. This mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at We All From. Now, where is Chris Eubank Jr.? Like, that that's what I want to know. Where is Chris Eubank Jr.? Junior, and the reason why I'm asking that is because he fought in February against James DeGill, and that was an important fight. It was an important fight, and it was a big fight. And Chris Eubank Jr. looked good. He looked good in that fight. Now, even though James Chunky DeGill was talking about retirement prior to the fight, and y'all know how that go. If a fighter's talking about retirement prior to the fight, then they're already retired. But the bottom line is Chris Eubank Jr. still had to go in there and take care of business. And he definitely went in there and took care of business against James Chunky DeGill. Now, I'm thinking that he got that victory. I'm like, all right, they're going to give him they going to give him a stay busy fight. And then maybe they're going to give him a big fight, maybe a rematch of Billy Joe Saunders or something like that. Because 168 is is stacked. Like, it's, it's stacked. Like, it's plenty of fights at 168. And just he has not fought since then. Now, I'm not going crazy. I mean, I've seen guys take a year layoff, over a year layoff, and it's been about eight months for him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not... um. You know, I'm not being outrageous with it, but you figure with a victory over James DeGill, like he would want to ride that wave. He would want to ride that momentum and they just haven't made a fight for him. Like I haven't heard of potential opponent opponents or rumors or anything like he's just out of sight, out of mind. Now, let's not get it twisted. He is doing a reality show, so he getting that TV bread. He getting that TV money out there in the UK. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that TV money. But just me as a hardcore boxing fan, I want to see Chris Eubank Jr. back in the ring. Like, he had an actual trainer in the corner with him for the DeGale fight. Like, he was actually listening. Technically, he looked good. Like, I seen a lot in that James DeGale fight, and I just wanted to see him stay busy to capitalize on the momentum, but I guess they just have different things lined up. So I guess we're going to find out what's going on with Chris Eubank Jr. Hopefully he can get something before the year out, but the way things looking, it look like we won't see him until 2020. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.